हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो टूडे इज़ वीडियो इज़ नॉट अबाउट कोडिंग इट्स गोइंग टू बी वेरी स्मॉल एंड स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड मैनी ऑफ पीपल ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड यूट्यूब कमेंटेड एंड आस्ट मी टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन ब्लॉक चेन रोड मैप एंड हाउ वन कैन बिकम अ फुल स्टैक ब्लॉक चेन डेवलपर सो हियर आई क्रिएटेड अ स्मॉल यू कैन से हायर की ग्राफ Uh, which i want to show that um, what what are the minimal la- tools or knowledge or skill set that we need in order to become a blockchain developer right now obviously the things that i mention here that doesn't mean only it's limited to these languages or these frameworks there are many resources many languages and many frameworks available right now but i personally feel even if you get a grasp of these languages right you can easily become a full stack blockchain developer and it's a starting stage right once you get the understanding um of the skill set that i'm going to go over then it's easy to expand on the other skill sets right or other frameworks so let's get into it so the first thing is languages to learn uh personally i feel we only need two languages one is solidity and javascript solidity is for writing smart contracts for the ethereum blockchain i know for some other cryptocurrencies um there is this language called rust that is available but if you want to work on ethereum blockchain and ethereum based blockchain is widely used right so if you know solidity you can write the smart contract and smart contract is like a piece of code that you've pushed to the blockchain and it acts as a backend right so that is one language that you need to learn and javascript because javascript is easy and it's widely used and we can easily create our backend api services in node js which is in javascript and again for front end we can use react right so as i mentioned here in frameworks and libraries react js for obviously front end stuff node js for back end and then there is this library called web3 js um it is basically used to call and interact with ethereum blockchain right because node js can bring up the server but we need some way or some api uh tool that we can utilize and call our ethereum blockchain related stuff right so that's where web3.js comes into play it helps us in interacting with the blockchain that's all now the tools that we need is obviously smart contracts as i said solidity is used to write smart contracts so we need to understand what the smart contract is in short smart contract is nothing but a piece of code on blockchain right like you think of it like you write a function to add two numbers now if you you take that function and quickly create a new block on the ethereum blockchain now once it once that block gets on the ethereum blockchain it's globally available right like it's part of a distributed network now anyone else can actually execute that um some method like to sum the two numbers as it's in the blockchain as it's on the blockchain that piece of code i can execute it and i can execute it using web3.js right um the other tools that we need are the full stack application tools um these tools i'll go over it so truffle and hard hat these are the frameworks that provide you a way to do the basic development and basic um practice um to create your web app and it, they have a bunch of variety of support so once you are confident your app and everything works fine um you can actually go ahead and deploy it to the original blockchain right so hard hat and truffle provides that mechanism as well and metamask the reason i put metamask as a tool because uh, many of the web3 related application do interact with the wallet right now metamask is a wallet and wallet is nothing but you can think of as a bank where you store the ethers um for the ethereum blockchain so you can easily use web3.js to interact with metamask and then pay the gas fees or any other kind of fees or money transfer um that whatever feature your web3 application um supports 
right? So this is the whole um, graph and the roadmap that we need to follow if one wants to become a Web3 uh, related blockchain developer, right? Obviously, as I said, again, I'll say repeat that statement. These are not the skills, only skills that you need. There are a lot of other skills that also you need, but this is the minimal skills that I feel if one masters, they can easily become a blockchain developer. Hope you guys like this video. I'll be making more videos on blockchain development and there are already some of the related videos that I created few full stack app on blockchain. Do go ahead and watch them when you get time. Um, please subscribe to my channel. It does help me in uh, and does support me in creating these videos. Give me a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. Thanks everyone.